Ivy Nesters Learning Center and IvyNesters.com. And today we're going to look at Test 6, Section 1, Numbers 16 and 17. 16 reads, the authors indicate that the public is coming to believe that journalist reports should be or should avoid what? So whenever you're facing a pair of questions like this, <clears throat> you got to figure out <clears throat> which way works best for you. <clears throat> If you just know the answer to number 16, you answer it. But if not, don't go back and read the whole passage over again. Let the lines help you. So you want to go through answer choices A, B, and C for number 17, and D for number 17, and see which one's answering the questions. If anything's not, you could eliminate it. But in the meanwhile, you're, you're trolling for what uh, the correct answer is. It's got to directly answer the question. It's also got to match with an answer choice for number 16. That's not a bad general approach. So, what should journalists' reports avoid? So, if we read from 12 to 16, thus, in contrast to personal or private knowledge, which is generally left to individuals to pursue or ignore, public knowledge is promoted even to those who might think it matters to them, who might not think it matters to them. So, that's just talking about the difference of personal and private knowledge. It's not telling you what journalists should avoid. Let's go to line 30 to 33. They embody the Oxford English Dictionary's definition of authority as the power over or title or influence of the opinions of others. So whenever you've got a line reference question, notice this one says they. When you've got a line reference like it's paired like this, that doesn't mean you can't read before or after the line. As soon as you see the word they, you want to make sure you read before. Before, what it's talking about is talking about the BBC and the Times of London. And those two publications, those two media outlets, were authoritative sources of public knowledge. And when it says they, it's talking about the BBC and the Times of London. So that's just basically defining what uh, an authoritative news source is. It's not telling you what journalists should avoid. And we move on to 40 to 42. Not surprisingly, perhaps, some news journalists feel uneasy about this renegotiation of authority. So it's telling you that journalists, and what we get in between lines 33 and 40 that we're missing here, is that people don't just accept things because they heard it on the news, uh, or they, they heard it on the radio, saw it on the news, or read it in the newspaper. They want to know where the news is coming from and if those people who are reporting the news have an agenda or not. And then this part's just telling you that journalists don't like this. Journalists just like to give the news and have people trust what they tell them. So then we go to line 70 to 74. Again, it's not telling you what journalists' reports should avoid. It's just telling you that journalists don't feel good about people not trusting them anymore. So it's got to be answer choice D for number 17, 70 to 77. Let's read that part. There's a growing feeling expressed by several of our focus group participants that the news media should be informative rather than authoritative. So if the news media should be informative rather than authoritative, it should avoid being authoritative. This is, it's got to be D. And what's meant by authoritative? Let's read on. The job of journalists should be to give the news as raw as it is without putting their slant on it. So it sounds like journalists should avoid putting their slant on it. Otherwise, they would be considered, as the passage says, authoritative. And people should be given sufficient information from which we would be able to form opinions of our own. Also, you should tell the whole story. Give sufficient information. So the correct answer for number 17 is going to be D. Now, what does that match with number 16? The answer is A. Personal judgments about the events being reported, that actually looks good. Because if you are putting your slant on it, or you're not giving all the information, then you're making a personal judgment. You're saying, hey, let's report this, let's not report this. Let's report this in a certain manner. It looks like it's going to be A. Let's see, answer is B. More information that is absolutely necessary. Now, Line 70 to 75 doesn't say that the problem is journalists give more information than is necessary. It says that they may not give enough. They've got to give sufficient or enough information. That's what it says in line 75 to 76. Answer to C, quotations from authorities on the subject matter. 
Um, it's not ta- nowhere is it talking about journalists not giving quotes from people who know their stuff. And then Ant's Choice D details that the subjects of news reports wish to keep pri- private. So it's not saying they should avoid giving details that news sources think that they should keep private. They're actually saying the opposite. They said that they should give sufficient information. Make sure you give enough information for the people to make their own judgments. So the correct answer here, 16 is A, 17 is D. And thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has trouble with these paired questions. Is there any question you'd like to see answered from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT? Leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out our one-minute video on TikTok. Have a great day. Thank you.